Hi guys, how are ya? Today's video is just about toxicity and toxic chemical exposure in your home and out in the environment, but we're gonna focus on the home today. So I've brushed over why we felt crap, what we were going through and um, what we wanted to change. But one of the biggest things that woke me up to this and our lifestyle that we were leading that was actually really unhealthy, even though we thought we were healthy, is an article I stumbled across that basically explained all the side effects that humans suffer from heavy metal exposure and toxic chemical exposure. And a little light bulb went off in my head and I kind of went, wow, we suffer from a lot of those things. And um, maybe our lifestyle isn't as healthy, healthy as we think it is. So I kind of looked around the house and I went through things that had chemicals in them. And I thought about our diet and what we're eating. And I kind of took it as a an overall kind of approach and it felt really overwhelming and I thought oh my gosh this is too much um, so the first thing I did was educate myself on toxic chemicals and what they actually do to the human body and I needed the motivation to realize that these changes that felt overwhelming needed to be done so I mean Everybody jokes and says, ha 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 ha, everything gives you cancer these days anyway. And I guess that's true in a sense, but who in their right mind wouldn't want to try their very best in their home environment to protect their children from cancer or from a bad quality of life? I don't know. I'm going to sit here and wait because I think most people want their kids and want themselves to feel good, to be healthy, to live the best life that they can live. And there is ways that you can do it. And we are constantly on attack physically and emotionally, hormonally under attack on all fronts from toxic exposure. Um, we inhale it. We inject it. We absorb it into our skin, this constant array of heavy metals and toxic chemicals. And really, if we're going to continuously be exposed outside of the home, we need to try and make sure that inside our home and what's going into our bodies is actually really healthy and is low tox. So. Um, some of the physical side effects and symptoms you can suffer from living a toxic life, um, which actually in my mind is just normal living, um, because honestly, most of our normal household products and most of the things that we eat and just do and do in this day and age is toxic for us. We've got an increase of breast cancer up 50% since 1979. 1971 I think sorry um, you can't tell me that that's that's like just because we discover cancer more and things like that it's not we're seeing a massive increase in hormonal issues um, in women and that comes that was part of the article that I read and it just blew my mind so some of the things that you can suffer from from a toxic overload is brain fog, fatigue, like constant tiredness, um, infertility issues, hormonal issues, eczema, um, psoriasis, any really skin conditions, acne, anything like that. Um, men can have low sperm counts. It can affect their testosterone. We're talking, you know, cancers and um, all sorts of other things, birth defects, We've got anxiety, mental health issues, um, lack of concentration. We've got children in these studies of exposure to toxic chemicals displaying ADHD symptoms. Um, and that really breaks my heart that we've accepted, we've all accepted that this is the day and age we're in and it's normal. And yeah, we don't have to be like this and we shouldn't be like this. We shouldn't normalize feeling like crap because it's not normal.
humans shouldn't be operating at this level. And while you might think that you're healthy or okay, are you actually living to your full potential? Are you as healthy as you could be? Do you, do you know that? Have you ever felt better than this? Because while you might think that your normal is healthy and is okay, you don't know if you're operating to your full potential because you could be suffering from a toxic overload and not even realize that that's what's going on for you. So I think the thing is, is that we all know that chemicals are around and we have them in our makeup. We have them in all kinds of products through our house, in our food. Um, we need to know what we're eating our food is covered in pesticides. How many people actually wash their vegetables and fruit before eating them properly, thoroughly wash them? I mean, we're busy. Lots of people don't do that stuff. I never used to. Um, and that alone, the amount of pesticides on your food could be causing all of those issues that I've just mentioned before. Um, and yeah, I think it's really important to break that mentality of, you know, we're all gonna die anyway, you could get hit by a bus tomorrow. Like that's honestly, think about it, that's just removing responsibility from yourself um, to protect your family and yourself and have a good quality of life. You're just removing the responsibility and not taking ownership and control of your health and your life. And it's really important that you do that. That's an essential part of realizing your own like self-worth and saying no I want to feel good and I want to feel healthy and I want to be happy and I want my children to be happy too so I think lots of people um, think that organic produce and buying all this you know healthy healthy things and eating grass-fed meats or organic meats and eating organic vegetables using homemade cleaners that have you know, less chemicals in them, you're using essential oils. I think a lot of people reserve this kind of lifestyle. They assume it's for hippies, it's for hipsters, or it's for people who love themselves. But nobody spends an extra $100 on their grocery bill just to say that they eat organic. I don't think they do anyway, and if they do, they're, just, they're an idiot anyway. Um, yes, it does cost more in some ways, but in other ways it doesn't. You can save money as well. So. Try not to let that become an issue and just think about why you want to do this. Um, I would advise you right now, if you think that you are suffering from anything like that, go and look, look for the science. Um, it's all there. A quick Google search is going to show you about how toxic chemicals and heavy metals affect the human body and the human mind. Go and look into it. And then I want you to sit down and I want you to look around your house and I want you to start thinking about the chemicals that you use to clean your house. Do you use air fresheners? Do you, I don't know, do you, do you what's in your makeup? What, what's in your laundry powder? And what's in your food, especially what's in your food? What additives are in there? Can you pronounce all the ingredients in your food and start thinking about how you could be feeling better than you feel and how you need to slowly but surely change your home environment. And that's what my videos are gonna to touch on as well. I'm gonna show people different ways to change those things and how to swap products around and how to find like good products that aren't that expensive and that can reduce your toxic load. And finally, I just wanna to touch on things that I've seen improve since I've done all of these changes. I am sleeping better, I am eating better, I feel so flipping good. I am happier, I have a clearer mind, I have more motivation physically and mentally. I don't feel like I'm dragging my feet 24 seven. My hormones have balanced, my skin has completely changed and cleared up, like completely changed. Um, what else is, what is, we're less sick. The kids have not gotten anywhere near as sick and me either compared to what we used to get. And that is all from honestly 
researching the amount of toxic crap that was entering into our bodies, saying enough is enough and changing our home environment and just making simple changes and realizing what was going into our bodies and what was in our environment was seriously messing with us as well as other factors, but mainly that. Okay, no worries. Thanks so much, guys. Bye.